Hi, we are going to make jalapeno poppers today. And um, I just started off here by taking all the seeds and veins out of our jalapenos so they won't be too spicy. So I just have one more to do. I'm just going to show you a little bit how to do that. So you're just going to take off the top. Just going to cut it right off. And then you're just going to you're going to save it right there because you're going to need that top for later. Okay, and then you're just going to kind of cut around it. Just kind of, just to get the, the seeds and the veins out of it. Sometimes a little difficult. And try to get the biggest jalapenos you can get because those are the easier ones to deal with and they're not as spicy so it just comes out just like that and you can just scoop your seeds a little bit out and then it comes out pretty easy and it would just be a hole in there hollow okay so when you're done with that I did about 10 jalapenos this is the tenth one. So once you're done with that, then all you're going to do is you're going to place your jalapenos on your skillet and you're going to get them a little toasty and then you're just going to peel off their skin when they get a little toasty. Just like that. Now we're just going to toast these babies up. Okay, so our jalapenos are all toasted up there. Now we're just going to take them off and place them in a quart-sized freezer bag. And we're going to just lock them in here for about five minutes so the skin will peel off easy. Now when you're toasting them, put it about to medium high for the skillet. Okay. Just move that off. Okay, so you're just gonna close this really good and just just leave this for about five minutes, just like that. Okay, so our chilies got um, all brown, and then we put them in the bag, and um, we took them out about 10 minutes later just to make sure they got soft enough to take all the skin off easy and just peel right off. Okay, so this is what they look like now. Their skin's all off. All right, and then we're just going to put some cheese in them. We've preheated the oven to 350. So we're going to use some Colby Jack cheese. You could use any shredded cheese you'd like, but I like to use this because it gives it a good flavor. So we're just going to use Colby Jack cheese to put in it. So, okay, so we're going to start off with one cup of our cheese. We're going to just Smush it up a little bit. So when you put it in here, you're just going to kind of just smush it like this a little bit. Squeeze it. And then kind of put it in just like that. Make sure the whole jalapeno is full of cheese. Now, I don't know how much we're going to have to use because we got 10 jalapenos, but we only have one cup of cheese here, so we'll see if we need to use more or not. You could put the ones you did on the, on the other plate over here. Yeah, just kind of squeeze it. 
That way it will go in there a little better for you. Make sure it's deep in there. Just like that. Okay, so I'm going to continue doing these last eight, and then I'll be back to show you how we're going to wrap our bacon on. Okay, so we ended up using about a cup and a half of cheese. So, um, let's see, we got this done. We got the, the bacon put on already. Okay, and we got four, four of the bacons put on. And uh, I'm just going to show you how to put it on it's very easy to do just pick up a top that you think fits you don't have to exact fit but it you need it just to keep on get your bacon then you're gonna start up the top you're gonna kinda just try to keep it together Okay, you're just going to roll it up just like that. And that's just how you're going to do it. Now, I put tin foil on my pans and I sprayed them with just a little bit of Pam. So, just, just in case they want to stick on us. Just rip you a piece of bacon, get you a top. That top looks too big. Uh -oh. Probably put the wrong ones. <laughs> okay, and just, just go like that, put it through. Try to keep that together. Just like that. Okay, so I'm going to finish up here and um, I'm just going to place this in the oven and I'm going to watch the bacon uh, and see when it gets done. So when the bacon gets done then they'll be ready to go. That should take about maybe about 20 minutes. Just keep an eye on it and um, put it on 350 and and just wait for the bacon to get done. That's all you're waiting to see. So we'll, and then we'll be back to test them out. Okay, so our jalapeno poppers are done. Some of the cheese came out, but that's fine. Okay, and now I'm going to have my husband try one and see how good they are because I'm not allowed to eat spicy food. The doctor said no spicy food for me. So let's have my husband try one. Mm. Is it very good? Yeah, it's pretty good. Mm. Nice cheesy thing. I wish I could have some. Okay. Mmm. Very good. I want some now. Well, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you try my recipe. It's really good. I wish I could have some. I hope you enjoy it if you can have some. <laughs> and thank you so much for watching, and please subscribe for more videos. And see you next time. Bye.